my dear friends as we begin the new month month of april usually the people call it this month of april means especially april 1st as of making fools and making fun and so on but when we see all over the world and our own nation this is a time people go through many type of struggle suffering lots of prayers are done so as i was praying to the lord lord what do you want to tell your people as we begin this month what do you want us to do in this month you are our father we are your children you guide us and lead us lord when i was praying like that the message of the lord which god gave me to share it with you that you could meditate on the whole month on this passage yes what the lord gave me was from the book of second peter chapter 1 verse 3 to 4 as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises that through this you may be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust there is corruption in the world through lust but you by participating in the divine nature you will not only overcome the corruption of this world but you will share in his glory what a great promise god gives to us yes as we reflect on the word god gives me a song to sing let's sing the song praising god who he is and then glorify him we will reflect on the word of god hallelujah hallelujah when we begin to praise god thank god praising and thanking god removes the clouds of darkness and gives us light to see ourselves as we are yes let's praise him thank him hallelujah hallelujah indeed or your works o lord never never more great indeed or your works o lord never never The universe, right and day, tells of all your wonders. You are the life and our light. We shall praise you always. The universe, night and day, tells of all your wonders. You are our life and our light. We shall praise you always. Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and evermore. Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and evermore. You are the path which we tread. You will lead us onward from every corner of the earth. All the nations 
nations gather. Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and evermore. Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and evermore. You are a Lord, you are a God. We praise you, Lord. We worship you. We adore you, Lord. What a mighty God you are, O oh Lord. Speak to us. We dedicate this month to you, Lord. The month of April. May your word guide us, Lord, and lead us. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. My dear friends, we are living in this world as children of God. We are not just thrown into the world, in the mud world, in the evil world, in the corrupted world, in the sick world, to be at the mercy of this world. No. We are created in His image. We carry His breath into us. As St. Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, in this clay part, we carry the breath of the Lord. Why? He is living in us. He wants to fill us with His love. Because today, what is the need of man? Today, what is the need of the world? The world which is so much of fear, worries. And many people cry, we have nothing. We have nothing to eat. We have a lot of problem. We don't have works. We don't have talents. We don't have people to love us. We don't have people to stand with us. The Lord is telling. While the whole world gives the chorus of what they don't have. Can you speak what you have? What is the greatest gift we have? In Colossians chapter 3 verse 3 it is written that we are hidden in Christ. Colossians one twenty seven says the God of glory who can lead every man into glory is inside you. Man can look at his life in two different directions. He can look at his life from his side and see, look, poor me. Look at me, how my life is, how the things are happening in my life. Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need you. Because look at me, the people whom I trusted, I can't trust anymore. In their need, they came to me. I did all the helps. Now I am struggling. Nobody bothers me. I have heard so many people crying like that. Some others say, Father, I trusted this man. Lord, Father, I trusted this lady that they will stand with me. But as soon as we are married, as soon as things are different, we got into little problem. He, he is showing his real color, Father. She is showing how crooked she is. If I would have known, I would not have married. One man literally told me, I was so much shocked. He told me, Father, I don't like my wife anymore. I said, what happened? He told me, whenever she came to meet me, she was always looking very beautiful, Father. But inside the house, only after marriage, I see. Especially morning when she gets up and brings the coffee, with their ugly face, I don't feel like drinking coffee. I said, son, what's wrong with you? She's a person. She has loved you. She has said there are so many people in her life. She said, no, I want you. What happened to that love she has for you? She never changes. She continues to love you. 
Yes, Father, I experienced your love. That's why I was running behind her. Even as soon as the office is, work is over, I used to call her. And we used to go have a cup of coffee. We used to talk a lot. You know what happened? I don't know, Father, something is gone away from me. And my heart is crying for something which my wife is not able to give. I said, it's true, son. It's true. Human being can give certain level. But we are created by God. And your wife is a gift of God for you. And the more you move in the love of God, the more you can be able to see the beauty in her, the love in her. Yes. I know of a preacher. It literally happened in Singapore. When I went to my nephew's house, I could meet this man one day as I was in the church and he shared his experiences. There's a famous church called St. Louis Church in Singapore. I was just looking at the, uh, the mountain, loose mount, like that they have made and the water is coming. I was enjoying. That man came and sat close to me. I said, who are you? Then he was explaining. He said, Tamilian from India he has come and he is working there. And he was sharing his life. When he was sharing his life, I said, somewhere I have heard your story. But he said, no, Father, this is my life. He had married a beautiful lady. She is a Filipino. He went to first Malaysia, married that lady. They were both happy. They didn't have children. He used to console her and they were very happy. He has to go to different places. And uh, as the days were moving, suddenly one day she said that her face is changing. Her whole body was having some kind of ringworms. Whole body is like that. And she was trying to cover it. As he goes, goes for the work, she used to go to many doctors, bring all kinds of ointments, put on her body and things were going back towards. But he continued to love her. And suddenly he has to go to Singapore for a month work in company's work. When he went to there, she phoned up to him and said, when you return back, you will see your wife different. Because the ring, I had a ring worms and they make my body not only ugly, but it's a very painful one. Sometimes even blood oozes. On all my thighs I have. I have on my chest, on my stomach. And now the worst is happening. It is slowly spreading on my face. He replied, see, I am here for a month. But every day, I think of your love. Come, we will pray together. Don't worry. Body is body. I am there for you. But she was going on telling, no, his name is John. No, John. If you come and see me, you may leave me. He said, no, dear. I have loved you. And after marrying you only, I understood how much sacrifice you have made for me. How much you have loved me. I loved your body and married you. But now I love you, your character, the way you take care of me. The way, though we don't have children, sometimes I have seen you as my daughter. You have seen, you have taken care of me as your own son. Different type of relationship we have. And 
I lost my parents and all my dear ones are in India. But you replaced everything. Any amount of expression of my love, which is genuine, I tell her, she was not able to understand me. Because she was seeing herself, her body, her pain, and what others speak about her. The neighbors make face about her. People talk about her. When she went to the church, nobody talked to her. All that was working in her. And within a week, John was calling to Margaret, saying, Margaret, I am also losing my sight. She said, upset. No, 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 no. How can you, you come immediately? I will take care of you. Uh, you have to do this, you have to do that. She used to give a lot of prescription how he has to wash his eyes and any word drops. Next day she went to the doctor and spoke to him and she wrote many things. Then after a month he was returning. Uh, she went to the airport because he completely lost his eyesight. Uh, she said, maybe it is God's grace or something. Because he may not be able to see me. If he really sees me, he will definitely he will leave me. That was her conviction. She said, maybe God's grace. She could not move because her body was so much giving pain. But she went still. She went to the airport and picked him up, came, brought home. But his love for him, he used to put the hand on her. He, she used to remove the hand. He used to ask, are you having pain? Don't worry, my darling. He used to kiss on her hair. And she never allowed him to kiss on his body, her body, because she knew that her body is full of wounds. But one thing she could not understand, there was a kind of smell was coming. Though he is blind, why the smell is not affecting him? Why is not telling anything about it? Like earlier used to be. Now little more than earlier time. He used to smile, crack jokes and make her. And he used to tell, uh, give me the vegetable I will cut. No, 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 you will cut your hand, fingers. Sometimes he cut even his uh, skin and she used to come and put medicine. But soon she became bedridden and he could do whatever he can. The worker was there to take care. He used to tell the worker to take me, let me sit close to my wife and talk to her, hold the hands and so on. Soon she passed away. And then they were taking the body in to the church and everybody was feeling so bad for him because he's blind. Now how he is going to live? But John was walking straight. People asked, your wife passed away and you are blind. How are you walking? He said, actually, I was not blind. I had seen I had that sight. But if my wife had known that I can be able to see, she will never believe that I love her. So in order to tell her that how much I love her, I acted as though I am a blind man. Now she is no more. And I am sure she will be very happy in heaven that I could see. Yes. My dear friends, Man begins his journey with himself. When he begins his journey with himself, he always looks at his problem, his struggle, and he always compares himself with others. The expectation plays a very important role. And he loses sight of himself. But God asks us, to begin our journey with Him, that we are His. 
when I asked John, John, how did you able to love Margaret even when she is ugly and the smell is so terrible? You are accompanying her to the hospital. You are sitting with her day and night. How is it possible? He said, Father, when I lost my parents, when I, my dear ones in, my, in Tamil Nadu, they were behaving in a very abnormal way. If I give them money, they talk to me. If I don't send money, they show indifference. I lost my job and I lost my money and I did some foolish things, but my wife never left me because she was always a praying woman and she gave me more than anything. She gave me Jesus and I had him. And when I have Jesus with him, with me, I could be able to love her in a different way. If I did not have the Lord, things would have been different. Yes. She had Jesus, so she loved me in my hard times. And now having that Lord with me, He gave me the power. I know in normal circumstances, it's not possible to stay with a woman not because of her face is ugly, but because of the smell. It is terrible. Sometime I didn't show her, but really happened, Father. I used to go to washroom and vomit, but I never shown her because she should never feel. Because she laid her life for me. We didn't have children. And I was not only husband for her, I was also son for her because she loved the son. She wanted to have a son. So I used to act like a son. Yes. This is what today St. Peter says. The God has given us the power of his love into our hearts. And today the world is hungering for love, hungering for forgiveness, hungering to accept one another as we are. My dear friends, now, by the grace of God, we have got plenty of time. This is the time either we can grow in the Lord and grow in the love of the Lord and being empowered by His love, we begin to love the persons whom God has given to us. Or, this is the time we have got plenty of time to find a fault at each other that you are going to sit till now you are running to the office. Both of you are running. Maybe your children were running and nobody had the time to know who is doing what. As human beings, nothing will be perfect. You used to have coffee and the man used to run. Now you are having, you can find a fault at the coffee. You can find fault at your husband's talking. You can find fault at your children. Plenty of time. This is the time. Either you can make yourself or you can break yourself. This is the time that is going to give you a mission to be, to walk with a, your wife, your husband, your children, your parents by walking with God. That's what Peter says. If his divine power has given to us all that that is needed to live a good life. His divine power has given us. If we look at the Lord and see the husband, see your wife, see your children, see your parents as your own, as God's gift, your life is so beautiful. It will become so wonderful. Today afternoon as I was just resting for a few little time, a call came to me from my one of my sisters. I got five sisters. And this particular sister is little dark compared to everybody. And this little sister did not, this elder sister of mine, 
she is not educated much compared to other sisters almost all my sisters are teachers except one who is a nurse and this particular sister she studied only 9th standard that time i was born and my mother was not well and this sister carried me she could not go to school she has to be at home take care of me i was sick and she gave her whole life and today of course god has mightily blessed her her son is in abroad and both of her daughters are teachers married to wonderful sons that is her their son in laws are wonderful people and that sister called me and she, she got a best husband compared to all the other sisters everybody got bad good but my brother in law though he is an uneducated man he is a wonderful man they both stay together they love each other they carry each other wonderful life and when my father was not well it is she who took care of him though my brother is a very loving man he cared so much for my father and mother but this sister he took my father to their home why i am sharing is this when you have love and that love comes from god your life becomes really a miracle to tell frankly compared to others this sister does not have much they don't have much money they don't have much facilities they are in the village my sister is a sugar patient maybe she is a heart patient also i think and my brother in law is also sugar patient but both the way they love they uh, carry each other is something marvelous i really thank god for the gift of them and even now once in a month i used to go to madurai to give the word of god every month when i come to madurai they will come from my village they both will greet me they will bring something to eat and every month they will put 1000 rupees in my hands i don't know how they earn in the village sufficient for themselves and then give me how why there is no answer only love only love yes where there is love there is god i am sharing this with you not to tell that i am my sister is someone the great or something like that no it is not what we have in the world or what we have not got in the world that can determine our spoil our life it is what we have received from the lord every day they pray if each other every day they pray the rosary together like since now lockdown nobody can go to the church but the church is kept open in the village they both go it seems for way of the cross like one by one they are supposed to go nobody is supposed to go together there is no public worship there so my sister and brother in law both go and spend some time pray and come back together and i was asking her what will you pray are you praying for me yes yes after praying for uh, my husband i am praying for you only she said ah i said i am a priest you should pray for me first you are praying for your husband and then you are praying no 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 god told me that to first to pray for uh my husband then only i'll pray for you if my husband is okay everything is okay she said i said this is too much i am your brother i am your priest she didn't say anything of course she has a small phone 
it's not a whatsapp phone or anything i can see her face or anything i can only hear her voice my dear friends when we belong to him he gives everything that is pertaining for the life that's what peter shares we are called to share in god's goodness and god's glory and share that goodness to one another and this is what our life on the month of april god has given plenty of time for each other for all of us that we may grow in him we may grow in his goodness we may grow in his love we have in st john's gospel chapter 5 i love that passage it is says it says that it's the festival time every day literally jesus is going around village to village so tired and they got a one day holiday and the disciples were smart they went ahead of jesus maybe to be with their dear and near ones jesus is staying at home maybe with mummy and her his cousins they all think jesus is something mad so they were always criticizing him ah now why can't you go to temple and do your miracles there so jesus did not go with them so now the brothers also went away maybe mummy is telling him son it's a holiday your disciples are there please go enjoy yourself i'm sure mother mary's heart is full of love she might have told though it is not written in the bible i believe so so full of love jesus he comes to jerusalem let me spend this day with my disciples eat drink enjoy make merry relax as he was coming nearing jerusalem the bible says he remembered oh in this jerusalem there is a lake where the people who are left out who are thrown away who are nobody will be lying there as he was reflecting on the love of the father the love was flowing into him the more we reflect on the love of the father the more we feel that i have received the light and i should not keep it with me light is given to give the give it to others we charge the battery in order to use it in the dark that is the nature so the more we experience we meditate on the love of god we automatically become the love of love with one another we share that love to the humanity today if there is no love in our human families means we are not reflecting on god's love maybe our battery is not full that's why it is not powerful if the battery is full the light will be very powerful the more we feed ourselves with the love of god the more we begin to share that love with one another that's what saint peter says that the father he says very clearly the divine power of god has given us everything that is pertaining to life to godliness yes he has called us to share to participate in his divine nature that we could escape from the corruption that comes from the world the more we are with him we share in the divine nature and the more we share the divine nature with the human beings the evil which wants to bring corruption to destroy the human life is destroyed the more we are in touch with that divine love we fill ourselves with our battery with that divine nature we can destroy the evil that tries to corrupt the human nature 
the human beings are filled with the divine nature. So, when Jesus remembered the divine love, he never thought, my disciples have left me all alone. If you want to see problem, you can see 101 problems. It's up to you. If you try to see uh, what are things I don't have, that man has got, this man has got, and I don't have. If you want to see what is not there, you will have 101 list. You can go on right. But the more you reflect, who are you? Till today, just check your life. From the day you were born, how many times you went through problems? What happened to you? Till today the Lord has brought you. Look at your life. How many times you made not mistakes, blunders. Moses says, Lord, if you would have known all my sins, you would have stoned me to death. If people would have known my mistakes, they would stone me to death. That is not only the story of Moses. It is the story of mine. It is the story of all of us. But, in spite of all that, today we are moving. We are honored. It's not that credit goes to us. It's to him. His love for us he has given us everything pertaining to the life. His power gives everything for us to live as normal human beings, as persons of love in this world. So he says, begin with him. Fill yours, your battery with his love, with his power, with his goodness. Reflect what are the goodness he has done for you. That's what David said. Oh my soul, praise the Lord. Psalm 103. Do not forget what your God has done for you. Yes. As the sky is high above the earth, his love is so great. Yes. As the east is far from the west, he has thrown away your sins. That today, once it is thrown, you can't see anymore. Like the father who loves the son, how many times he has shown mercy to you. Oh my soul, praise the Lord. And all that is within you, glorify the Lord. This is month of April. A month of grace. Month of blessing. This is the month where you learn to reflect on God's love and share with each other. The husband can share how much Jesus loves. How he experiences Jesus' love in his life. And how much he experiences the love from his wife. Tell her. Tell her, as Jesus tells you, how much he loves you. This is the month. Please tell your wife that how much you love her. How much you need her. Please tell your husband how much he is precious to you. If your husband is no more, what would have been your life? Once I went for a, a burial of a man and uh, one man came and said, he is our uh, uh, small daddy and he used to help each other and he is such a wonderful man. And another fellow came and said, oh, he is my friend. I have never seen like him, any other human being. Any little problem, if he, he will run and come and help us. I asked, at the end I have to speak told those people. Many of you spoke about the man who is dead. But I was told that he died lonely. When he was in the hospital, there was nobody. Did you ever tell him while he was living who he is? Now you are saying he is so precious. He did so much help to you and he loved you. Like him, there is nobody. This is the month. God's special gift for you to build up your family life. To build up your divine life. They are inseparable. If you are growing more in God, your love for the family will grow. If you are more 
thinking about yourself this is the month also most tempted month this is the month if you are not alert you are going to destroy yourself and your family because this is the month you have plenty of time to be with yourself you are lying down in your bed you feel like hey bring coffee for me hey what are you doing to find every mistake mistake in the children mistake in the husband mistake in the wife you are going to see plenty because you are there all of you together if you are seeing yourself in each other and seeing the mistake and the struggle each other we are going to destroy each other this month if you are going to move with the god that god has given each other as a gift to us then we will live that's why you move with the god and god will give you everything that is needed for your life and give god's love god's courage speak to each other i was told one day one parrot was sitting in a tree and it was singing a song suddenly one crow went and sat near parrot got so angry hey go you blacky how dare you can come and sit near me i look so beautiful look my huh? nose so red and i look so beautiful like green huh? nobody can paint like me and what a wonderful voice i have ki 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 and you kaka go how dare you can come and sit in the same branch that crow said oh, i don't know maybe when god created me uh, current went up maybe uh, maybe it is amavasa dark moon maybe that's why i was born like that but one thing i know whatever may be my needs god fulfills i you go and tell the stories who who will love you you are a beggar you have to go and find little dirty uh, food that is thrown away for me i eat wonderful fruits as they were talking a man was trying to catch the birds he saw the parrot in his own world it is a nice time he came behind and cut hold of it and the crow is watching hey such a fun. nice big big thing she was talking now she is caught so the crow was running behind to see what's happening the man took the parrot and he put the parrot inside the cage and the crow is sitting freely who will catch crow and it was singing ka 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 the parrot got so angry and upset it puts its head down it didn't want to show that it is inside then the crow noticed that the man is burning the garlic and opening the tongue of the parrot and burning the tongues tongue of the parrot teaching him to tell what he wants him to tell good morning that parrot is not able come on now again he is putting the burning it say nicely good morning the parrot looked at the crow the crow said from outside look they are burning your tongue to teach you to speak their language but do you notice outside his wife made some food and some people told it seems in this time you have to give food to the birds so he is calling it my language ka 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 then i came she gave food to me they are burning your tongue to speak their language but my story is not like that 
They are speaking my language to feed me. My dear, never think of yourself, of who you are. Don't begin your journey with yourself. Begin your journey with God. My dear friends, the crow and parrot story teaches us that don't move your life by comparing yourself with each other or what you have in the world. Rather move with the Lord who has sent us into the world for a purpose, for a mission. Let your heart be filled with His love because that is what the Holy Spirit has done for us. We read Romans 5, 5. The Holy Spirit fills our hearts with love. Life is only once on this earth. Let this life be yours. Long ago we had a painter whose wife is very, both of them are old. But you know how much he used to, she used to love him. She used to wait for him. Both were staying in our center. And both could go and eat. Sometimes this man will be late or because of his painting work. She will never eat without him. And though the food is cooked in the center, it is served in the table. Everybody goes, takes the plate, serves and goes and eats. But she will take his food, bring the water and keep, give food and then both will eat together. Yes. Small, small things. The more we remember God's love and we can share that love for each other. That's what God expects from us. That's why God has kept us in the homes. We are in the homes and with God we can build up our families, our homes. And we are in the homes without God and seeing us each other, we can break our home. That's why we have in the book of Ephesians chapter 5, the Lord says, Be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. He says in verse 8 onwards, For you were once darkness. Maybe you are blaming each other. Maybe you got a lot of problem. You are talking at the problem. You are talking at the mistake of each other. Maybe you are talking about what do you need. Maybe you are talking about your tensions. Maybe you are talking about what things are not taking place. Maybe you had so many dreams. Every woman wants to build a home. Maybe that is the struggle of your wife. Or maybe she is saying that you did not buy any gold for her. Or maybe as a man, you felt that she is so busy with herself. Maybe after the children, she didn't care for you. Whatever may be. Now is a gracious time God has given to us. That's why in Ephesians 5, 9 says, You were once in darkness, but now you are in the light of the Lord. Walk as children of light. Yes. And St. Paul says, Awake you who sleep till now without knowing, talking the language of the world. You have lost many things. When you become old, only you will be together. Your children will be like the birds, which has the flies, wings. They will run away, especially husband and wife. Please learn to love each other. Learn to be with each other. Learn to sacrifice yourself for each other. This is the precious time, special gracious moment God has given to us to build up love. Build up your divine love. Yes, that's why St. Paul says, Awake! You who sleep, arise from the dead and Christ will give you light. See then that you walk 
not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Everywhere sickness, everyone is talking negativism, everywhere people are talking about death, everybody is saying so many people are like this, why not the government do this, why not this follows, that foolishness, this mistakes. Everywhere you speak, you hear the language of death. Only having the Lord with you, you can speak the language of God, language of life. That's why in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 onward says, Be anxious for nothing. Whatever may be, this is the time. As a family, pray together. Call upon the Lord. You, This is the time to taste God. Jesus said in Matthew 7, 7, Ask and it will be given to you. Both of you pray for each other. Both of you please, when father and mother, when they kneel before God, your children will notice. Not only sickness is contagious, love is also contagious. Prayer is also contagious. If you start to pray in these precious days, your children will start to pray. This is the very perfect time to build up your spiritual life also, your prayer life also. You are caring for each other. Yes, whatever you need, tell God with the faith, Daddy, you are our God. Daddy, you are our strength. You died for us. Speak to Him. Tell Him who He is to you. And we surrender all our life to you. We thank you, Lord, because you are in control of us. We thank you, Lord, for your gracious presence in us. Look in John's Gospel, chapter 11. When Jesus stands before the graveyard, the tomb, still Lazarus, not brought to life. But what did Jesus say? He prayed to the Father. Father, I thank you, for you have always heard my prayer. In your family, build up the faith. You tell God, Lord, you are hearing my prayer. Thank you. You have stood with us. You have walked with us. Till today, we are not perished because of you, Lord. Give honor to God. Thank God. And Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, St. Paul says, Finally, brethren, whatever things that are true, whatever things that are noble, Whatever things that are just, whatever things that are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good, report. If there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you have learned and received and heard and saw in me. That God of peace be with you. God is giving us his divine nature. Yes, we have received from him. Celebrate life. I pray for all of you. Yes. Before we pray, we have a beautiful song. We can tell Jesus. Yes. St. Paul says in Philippians 4.12, I have learned to live in all times. Whether I have or I don't have, I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. Strengthen yourself in the Lord. And being strengthened in the Lord, you can strengthen each other. You can tell the beautiful thing what do you have. Hallelujah. Yes. We sing this beautiful song. It says... I got something that the world can't give and the world can't take it away. I got something that the world can't give and the world can't take it away. I got something worth talking about. It makes me sing and makes me shout. I got something that the world can't give and the world can't take it away. More and more of Jesus, I want more of Him. More and more of Jesus, 
than I ever had before. More and more of His great love, rich and full and free. I want more of Jesus, so I'll give Him more of me. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We want more of you in our hearts, in our families, that we can give you, Lord, to each other. Lord, I pray for your people as they are listening to your word. May your divine love, may your heart of sacrifice that you showed on the cross, Lord, please give it to us. We are human beings, Lord. We look at each other. We look at our problems. We look at our weaknesses. We look at our past mistakes. We recollect, we remember. Our mind is fully stored with all that we have done to each other. The hurts, the wounds. Lord, you have given us once again a precious time to be with each other. The enemy may remind us all the hurts we have done or what the hurts of their parents, their dear ones have done. No, Lord. This is the time to think what is good, what is pure, what is lovely, what belongs to you. Lord, while we are still sinners, you died for us, Lord. That's what we read in Romans chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. While we are still sinners, you have loved us, Lord. When we look at each other, we know we are not perfect, Lord. We have done maybe even blunders, Lord. In spite of all that you love us, Lord. May this love of yours, may we live it, Lord. May we celebrate it, Lord. May we thank you, Lord. May our hearts be filled with what you have done for us. May we keep your cross before us and we pray, Lord, anoint us with your precious blood. As you are praying, you can bless each other. If you are praying as a husband and wife with the children, the husband can bless the wife. The wife can bless the husband. Both of the parents, you bless your children. Keep them close to your heart. Take them close to you. Let the children experience warmth. Let the children experience that you love them. You hold them. Many children are complaining. My parents don't hold me anymore. Today is the gracious days. Take your children close to you. All that you need, God will provide you. Lord, help these families. May these days become gracious days. May your divine love, may your divine nature be given to us, Lord. We may share in your divine nature, in your divine love. Bless our homes, Lord. Bless these children who are praying along with us, Lord. Bless our nation, Lord. Bless our church, Lord. Bless all those who are suffering, those who are kept alone, they are staying alone. As we are praying, send the vibration of your divine love to them, Lord. May your power of healing be given to them, Lord. Destroy all the fear, worries, anxieties, and all that of the enemy. Be destroyed, Lord. Give them your courage. Give them your love. Give them your power, Lord. Give them your Holy Spirit, Lord. Let their hearts be filled with your love, your peace. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah, 
sing grace how sweet that sounds that saved a wretch like me i once was lost but now i am found was blind but now i see hallelujah 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 Praise God, Alleluia, 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 Praise God. Kindly kneel together. And receive the blessing of the Lord. If you are husband and wife, hold the hands. If your children are with you, hold the hands of each other. And even if your husband is not there or wife is not there, you are with the children, hold each other. If you are only children as a brother and sister or sisters, please hold the hands of each other. Or you are with your friends, please pray together. Lord Jesus, I surrender the children to you. It is your love, your divine nature that provides everything that is needed for us to live on this earth. That's what we have heard from St. Peter, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. As we have reflected this word, we ask you, Lord, to fill our hearts with your divine love and make us to possess your divine nature, that possessing your divine nature, we may give you to each other. That the enemy who wants to bring corruption in our lives be destroyed. And may your love, may your goodness live in our hearts and in our families. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit bless you and be with you and walk with you in every decision of yours, in every walk of your life. May he be with you and guide you and bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Mary, our blessed mother, St. Joseph, please intercede for our families. Hail Mary, full of grace. Lord the Lord is with you. Blessed, blessed are, you are you among women and Holy blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary of God, pray for, for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. I am sure this month is going to be a unique month, month of God's presence, God's love and grace. Have a wonderful month of April. God bless you. Mm -hmm.